like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 65 has a function for f and a function for g, and it's asking, what is the domain of the function f plus g? So f plus g is just going to be the sum of these two functions. So it's going, going to be the square root of x plus 1 plus the square root of 2 minus x. And so what we need to do is find the, um, the domain of this function. So let's talk about the domains of each of these individually because the sum is going to be uh, the more restrictive of the two. Okay, it's going to be the combination of these two uh, domain restrictions. So uh, for a radical function like this one, we have square root of something, the number underneath the square root cannot be negative or else we would not have a real number. Okay, taking the square, you, it, it is possible to take the square root of a negative number, it's just that the results will not be real. Okay, so let's first um, find the domain of f. Okay, so the domain of f is going to be um, all of the x values that make that, that uh, expression underneath the uh, uh, radical bigger than or equal to 0. So if it's 0, square root of 0, 0, and the square root of any positive number is going to be real as well. So we just basically don't want this number to be negative. So if I subtract 1 from both sides here, I'm going to get x is greater than or equal to negative 1, and that right there is the domain of this piece of the function. Now the domain of g is going to be the values of x that uh, make sure that the number underneath the radical is not negative. In other words, that needs to be greater than or equal to 0 as well. So here I can subtract 2 from both sides and I'll get negative x is greater than or equal to um, negative 2. And then if I divide both sides by negative 1, I'll get x is actually less than or equal to 2. Anytime you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, you've got to flip this inequality symbol. So here's our domain of g. So let's think of the x values like a number line. Okay. So if we're just considering the domain of f, f says that x has to be greater than negative 1. So here's negative 1. All of, you know, negative 1 is going to be part of the domain, and then every number bigger than 1 is also going to be part of the domain. Here's 0, just for some reference. Now, for G, um, so just to label this, here's F. Here's the domain of F represented on this number line. G says that X has to be less than or equal to 2. So G could be 2, right? And then that would just be the square root of 0, and that's real. And any number smaller than 2 will also work. Now, the domain of this com um, uh, combined function, basically all the x values have to create uh, a real number, whether it's in this one or this one. So what you're looking for here is the overlap of these two inequalities. And we can see that the overlap here is in between negative 1 and 2. In other words, as long as x is in between or including negative 1 and 2, this is where we want our x's to be, then we do not have any domain problems with either of these square roots. So this is where we want x to be. Um, maybe I don't write x here because then it looks like I'm xing it out. But this is where we want x to be. So x is going to be in between and including negative 1 and 2. So that's going to be our domain for the combined function. So our answer here is D. And that's it for number 65. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.